What's up guys and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Now obviously um, this is still kind of a spoiler episode um, even for our playthrough which is like deep 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 inside of the end game. So if you don't want to have any spoilers uh, from our specific playthrough that's completely fine just skip to the next uh, next episode should be fine. But this episode, basically, we went on, um, this is where, like, we should quit, basically, because I'm going to recap last episode and this episode. But basically, we shouldn't be here technically. We didn't really have any quest to get there, but I know there was a bunch of loot in this area, and it's really something I wanted to get. Um, so... I just said screw that I'm gonna do the most I can do in this playthrough and that kind of goes hand by hand with this fight so this fight now is answer answer is this badass undead dragon with 400 hit point um, resistance to necrotic immunity to lightning and poison um, Yeah, he's he's pretty cool. He's accompanied by two water myrmidon, which is which is all right. Comes easy um, these days. And we're going to try to find a way to beat group. him. Essentially, um, I think Astarian can get away with moving away from this guy. So no I'm way. gonna try to do it. He's going to attack. Oh, Warden Claire. Oh, that's not great for Astarian. Knocked down. Um, so obviously this guy immune to lightning and poison. And these guys are resistance to fire for a little bit still, but they're weak to lightning and cold. Um, it's interesting, right? For one turn, I'm assuming because of the um, of the wet, um, the, the the wet thing they have. But um, I'm unsure a little bit exactly what I'm gonna do with this. I think I'm going so so I can create a myrmidon of my own. I don't think I'm gonna create a water myrmidon, but I can create fire, earth, or air. I think since there, I think I'm gonna create a fire myrmidon. I think fire is the best for me. Um, he's going to in to haste himself. And try to get some hits in on the big dragon. And these water mermen are fairly strong, level 11. This guy is level 17, a heart of the gate. Tara's time. Also, yeah, I don't think she, I don't think we had the aura of protection on. So that's always useful to have. <laughs> We're just gonna pop it right here. Awesome. Um, okay, so there's a few things we can do. The first thing, obviously, is beat answer. I think. Um, For the moment, so so we could brand the weak. Brand the weak is really strong against answer. But I think the first thing I'm going to do, because this I can do at any time. It's not even an, an action. I think I'm going to spiteful suffering answer. But that means we kind of have to get through you first, which is annoying a little bit. Wow. 
Wow, two misses. That's really bad for us. All right, where is he going? Oh, he's going over here. A cozy little 22 damage. And since I'm undead, I'm going to use spiritual weapon level two. The spiritual weapon is probably not gonna hit all that much. But it's going to be able to eat a few of his uh, of his own hit. And wow, okay, it, it already did more damage than most of my uh, party did so far. So he's going to be immune to poison and stuff like that. It's kind of really rough. 12% of that succeeding, not holding out my breath for this. Um, yeah, so I think like cold damage, fire damage are the only really th real thing I can do to him. Necrotic damage can be a good idea, but I don't think it's it's like that great. And if not a pattern, 12% probably not gonna cut it. So. That's 4d6, um, like obviously fireball is going to be the way to go here, so even though it's doubtful that he doesn't, that he saves it, that he doesn't save it, I mean, uh, we're still going to do a little bit of damage to him. Alright, what is this water Myrmidon's gonna do? Go towards, go towards my- oh, healing vapor. Immune to healing, that's good to know for him. Um, perfect, so you can kind of chill back, 35, 30. We'll, t we'll take a, a nice little hit and we'll skitter skitter away. Now, Mentara has a very special mission, right? So she's going to... Lila Lil. Uh, that did not work, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay. Um, so he's an undead, right? Obviously. All right. So just don't kill Mentara. Yes. Perfect, Vascura. What are you immune against? You're not immune against um, necromantic damage, right? So I think I can come here and cast Blight on you, and that should work. Yeah, it does. Perfect. Mentara has a very special job here. Oh lord, alright. 
Here he goes. He's resistant to is resistant to all damage. We have to get behind cover. What is cover? Are these crystals cover? I don't think these crystals are gonna be enough, my dude. I think we kind of have to leave, right? Like that that's what my heart tells me. My my heart tells me we're we're, we're leaving, right? How far can you go? Oh, well, you can only go there. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Like, outside of line of sight, I feel, is the only place to be. Did we- did we screw something up? Because now he only has five I intelligence. advantage. It broke my game? <laughs> oh, this- what is going on with this fight? Um, uh, hello? Hello, <laughs> Any anybody? Yo, I, I was prepping up the ultimate turn with Mentara too, with like Brand the Week and stuff like that. She was going to destroy him. Hello? Do we have to restart the fight? Wow, I kind of want to wait out to see if there's like anything that can be done, but I I actually don't know. Is it supposed to be like a game over? Like, is it straight up game over? If that happens? He, he still had two turns left of hoarding powers too, right? Like... Okay, we're reloading, I think. We are reloading. I do believe. I don't know if my latest quick save was um was there or not, but I know I I know I saved right before the fight. So I guess we're just going to do it again. Uh I don't even know what to say, but this time around what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go straight at him with Mentara and I'm gonna dish out all the damage I can yeah uh, it was here perfect so it's just gonna be a little bit before um, I I'm just gonna go straight at him with Mentara try to get as much damage done as possible uh, because in theory in theory, we should be able to to like burst him down pretty fast. He's he's an undead. We can get 
uh, advantage on him in many different ways with Mentara. And he he's gonna eat the critical smites very well. Awesome. So you're immune to lightning damage, which is good to note. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just going to like since I have a bunch of spell levels, I'm just going to Invidium. get here. Mind Sanctuary. And then that's it, right? Because I already <laughs> used my spell. Out. That's okay. On the way. Nice little damage on him. Yeah, elemental warp, movement, elemental warp, and then an attack on shadow uh, on us uh, us is fine us doesn't need any protection then shadow heart i'm going to protect shadow heart us is already at five hp it's not that great but he literally broke last fight so i'm not too worried so i think what we do is we we straight up focus um we straight up focus answer right because I'm kind of, like I don't think the Myrmidon are that scary. I think I thirst. For I think combat. answer is much more scary. All right, so divine sense for two turns. I hope that doesn't trigger. God damn it! All right, so it's not time based. It's not time based. It's. Get behind cover. I don't even think cover cover does it right. I don't even think cover does it. In some world, covered does it. Oh, a star is just gonna die. That's okay. yourself all right <laughs> is this gonna break again absorb element <laughs> Oh, 
hardly a good time. Be quick. So the, the gather power thing did not work out too well for us, which is kind of a shame. Funnily enough, a Starion with Absorb Element is the is the one that's the bet that's the better of. <laughs> he he didn't he didn't get any problem whatsoever. All right, what are you gonna do, my my good sir? Lightning breath, awesome. Just what I wanted. Unlucky. I mean, we were maybe going to succeed at something, right? So, okay, so if you throw like potions at people, that's that usually that's works, good. right? Awesome, so that does work. This is not how I die. Can you can you steal a potion from me? Can you go into my inventory? Pick up a potion. And drink it. Let me strike. No. Does not seem to work that way. Sadly. And even if it did, that's okay. I don't mind. So you're way too far for this, but there's a chance it works. I only need one turn. I only need one turn at him. Right? I only need one turn at him. Gather power again! No! Oh no, don't do it again! Fresh orders? I mean, there it, we don't have we don't have a thousand option, you know. I always forget to keep this on, which is kind of a problem. It maybe would have helped. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, That's not gonna work. So we have to time ourselves a lot, a lot better to beat this guy. So what I think, what I think I'm gonna go for is not dish out as much damage, but I'm gonna take a turn to set it up with uh, Menthara and get him down to maybe like 75% HP. 
something like that, right? Also, can, can you be can you be brought back by um by this? That would be a good a good thing to try and look at, right? First, uh, mind sanctuary, I suppose. Mind sanctuary was actually pretty useful. That's a good little uh, amount of damage. Nothing wrong with that, for sure. So that Myrmidon is gonna come around. He's gonna target this good group of people. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter if we if, if we decide to fight it or not. Uh, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna do pretty much the same thing, I'm assuming. You're gonna come right next to this sledge and you're going to attack these guys. Alright, little bug. Um, we're going to give you your aura of protection right now, just because it's always a good thing to have. We're gonna come over here. Oh. Wow. That's unlucky. And then he's gonna Dragon Breath, obviously, obviously. Yeah, 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 normal, normal, normal. That's fine, that's fine. He's gonna fly up and he's gonna come around here. He's gonna stand in the mind sanctuary because why would he not why would he not stand in the mind sanctuary it's okay it's my bad it's my fault it's my fault i screwed up i am the one who screwed up you know It's not going too well, I'm gonna be honest. It's not going too well. <laughs> nope, 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 no. Alright, well, you can cast a good, chunky, hardy lay on, on yourself, and you can cast Divine Sense as well to gain advantage on Answer. I swear to God, sir, if you do gather power. Yeah, that's more like it. That is more like it. Why is he lethargic? I will never understand that spell, I suppose. Yeah, 
immune to poison. I should have known. Why do I always try to poison them? They're always immune. Alright, what cool arrow do we have? Dragon Sling, Humanoid Sling. Dragon Sling, I mean, okay, so... He doesn't have his turn before Mentara. I think... Is this the round? No, that that's not the round. That's not the round. Next round is the round, for sure. But that, that right now is not the round. Alright, what are you gonna do? How many spells does Ventara have? A bunch of first level. Time to bleed. Alright, don't gather power, don't gather power, don't gather power, don't gather power. Yes! That's okay. That is very okay. Alright, is this a turn? I sure hope it is. Alright, big bonk, big bonk. I'm gonna hope the thing is I, I really wanna I, w I really wanted to crit, but I don't know if it's going to crit. Oh, that is so bad for us. He's gonna gather power now, isn't he? Yeah. Mm. This fucking dragon. Holy shit. The problem is that it doesn't fucking matter the problem is it doesn't actually matter if we like how do I put this it doesn't matter if we hide behind the crystals. All that matters is that we burst him down fast enough for us to be able to do anything, right? I feel like another way we could do the whole thing is if we cast resist element, like absorb element from Shadowheart. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Um, not that I think about it. Just just cast the... Um... Oh, also... Now I think about it. Stage... Fr oh, you can save stage fright. I forgot. I... I'm just getting tilted, I think. Let's have some cut. Yeah, at this point, the game is fucking with me, dude. At this point, the game is fucking with me. Dude. 
It's okay. It's okay. Oh, that it, it's rare for you to hit this guy. That is rare. All right, RNG different. Maybe that's gonna get better for us this time. Who knows? Why? You had, I know you had uh, the element thing. I guess play. I, I guess death ward is gonna be really useful if we do run up, run into something like that, right? Um, all right, so death ward is gonna be very useful. Spirit guardian should be fairly useful, um, but I can only do it at like fourth level. But the thing is. I will need my fourth level for Death Ward. Right. So, realistically, what I should do is I should shove you down a hole. Would it even work? No, it doesn't even work. Hmm. Because I know you have resist element somewhere in your thing, right? Um, yeah, protection from energy. And we could resist... Sadly, we can do it while we're fighting, but we could resist lightning. That is an idea that could use if I wasn't locked into a fight. <laughs> Alright, uh, what are we gonna do? We're going to cast Bless on you. Do it. First we're, like, yeah, miss me with that shit. First, first and foremost. Then, we're going to cast Bless. Mentara, Astarian, And myself, I suppose. And then, we're going to make a sword next to the dragon. Then the sword is gonna hit the dragon. And then I am going to run away without getting hit by the dragon, which is going to be great. So good so far. And then, what we're gonna do is we're going to hit these guys, because my spell won't really matter against the big dragon. I kind of hate Astarin for missing all of these shots, not gonna lie. This is not the best thing that's ever happened to me, I'll just put it that way. That's okay. So are we just leaving answer? Are are we just leaving answer like unattended? Yes. Is that the best strat? Probably not.
this. Let's go. All right, so one water mermaid and down, which is, it's not great. It's not the best thing I've ever done with my life, but it's okay. He's healing us, which I'll take. All right, so I think this moment is a pretty good moment for us. She was so close to dying. Oh lord, oh lord, 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 lord. So that guy's dead. Perfect. Uh, okay, so now I used Divine Sense. I still have Divine Sense. Oh, it's only this turn, right? So that's going to be annoying. Um, That sucks. I don't even understand. He's so strong. Can I just leave? I can just leave. All right. My big problem is that inevitably he's going to cast this dumbass thing that I'm not going to be able to cancel. And that's going to be a problem. Right? At, at some point he's going to go gather power.
The guy got six damage. All right, I guess we just have to go for it, you know? I guess sometimes you just have to go for it. He's going to cast his stupid ass thing. So he cast gather power. I hate everything. No. No. What am I even supposed to do against this? Get behind what cover? Nothing works. These things don't do shit. The good part about Astarian is that he doesn't like he can just use his um his thing to leave. To the death. Unleash me. So I could try to put you behind these things. What I can do is I can do both, right? I can try to hit this guy. Then I can put you behind here. Or behind here. Nah, I can I can do that. I can put you behind here. Look, not gonna go great for us, I think. Just leaving. My character is just dipping the hell out of there. Can I eat him? I cannot. That is annoying. Um, Hey, Astarion is... he tanked a bunch, and now he's gonna move here, and now Mintara's gonna be able to, to go attack him. There's a chance! Help, There's... The, look, the chance is not huge, alright? It's not the biggest chance we've ever had in our life, alright? But there is a chance, and that is got good enough for me.
80% good enough for me. We did it! Alderan. What have you done? We did it! Woo! Light on my feet. I can promise you we are going to I'm sore. Oh. I never thought I'd see him again. Why did you conceal your true identity from me? My true identity is the one you've known from the moment we met. I conceal nothing from you. I simply left out the details that were not pertinent to our cause. But it seems you are interested in them. I just seem to know if you're going to kill me like you killed your last friend. I killed Ansor out of necessity. <clears throat> For the crime of being a Lilithid, he would have killed me first. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. Fair. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to fan Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while to watch my city grow. But it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea called to me. And I ran to her with open arms. Mame. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer, enthralled to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness, called on every healer he could find. Nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. Yeah. Um, so you killed him. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. Is being an illithid really worth the loss of a friend? I guess. We're inquiring about if becoming an illithid is really that bad, because we might we might have to do it at some point the way the game is going right now. Put simply, yes. Hey. And being alive even more so. Do not think that I am ignorant of what I have lost. I may not regret my actions, but I do regret that they were necessary. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. Two nether stones remain in the hands of the Chosen. We must find them before we confront the brain. What's hiding here? Dear Answer, I've said it a thousand times and I'll say it again. There is no cure. And that's all right. I'm fine, more than fine. I'm better than I've ever been. So why torture yourself like this? Of course, I know why. Remember Yag Tengril? 
Yal Tengri. You and I sailed together for months, seeking the Great Spire. By the time we found it, we were sick as dogs. But you never left my side. Not for a moment. Even though you could have simply chosen to fly, you told me there was something about experiencing it with me, through my eyes. You wanted to share in, in my passion for the adventure. It was, you said, a privilege. The truth is, the privilege was mine. You are the greatest thing that ever happened to me, Answer. I never had to ask you for anything, but I'm asking you now to stop. I may no longer feel my feeling, but I know yours, and yours are agony. It doesn't have to be this way. Be free, Answer. Fly, and know that even if I'm not beside you, I will always have been your Baldurin. That's kind of sad. And then Baldurin Giant Slayer. A plus three weapon with giant form. What's that? Is that just enlarge? Wow. Awesome. And on a hit, double the damage from your strength modifier. This weapon. Double the damage from strength modifier. This weapon. Whoa, that's so good. Mentara, new weapon just dropped. Reporting. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, and it looks so sick too. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. <gasps> nice. Anything Quick else here? Doesn't seem to be anything else over there. Doesn't seem to be anything else over here. Just water. Which is fine. Then there's a helmet here. Worm's tempest and his roar hurtle through you. Ansu's essence still lives within the helm, instilling you with power for as long as you wear it. Nice! A nice little helmet. What does it do? Where is it at? What? Looking Did it go to my inventory without me knowing? Our enemies are everywhere. What? Where's the helmet? Oh, there it is. Helm of Balduran. The helmet heals you for two hit points at the beginning of every turn. Uh, plus one to armor class and saving throw. Huh. I'm ready. Sorry, I think I'm gonna be Shadow Hard, right? Because it's uh, medium armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Blades always sharp. Awesome. And we're going to long rest. But before we do that, I'm going to quick save and call it a day for today. Kind of a shorter episode. I have a few things to do. Uh, I'm trying to pump these out, but don't worry. We're getting there and there won't be any more break in the near future. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. We just hit the one hour mark. We defeated exactly one dragon. Um, but it, god damn it was worth it for all that loot. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.